Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Must one have separate sinks for both meat and milk in a kosher kitchen? What halachic issues, kashrus issues, can arise if one uses the same sink for his meat and dairy dishes? And what is one to do in a time of need in which only one sink is available, such as in a kitchen that only has one sink built in, or one of the sinks is clogged and is unusable? May one use the same sink for both meat and milk? So while the prohibition of meat and milk only is an effect against when eating the mixture together or cooking the mixture together in a biblical way such as on a fire, and thus technically one should ask, what then is the problem of washing the milchik and fleshik dishes together? If I'm just cleaning them and getting them rid of the food, I'm not cooking meat and milk together and there's no residue left that I'm going to come to eat. Since in the process of washing dishes, it's possible for the taste of the meat to enter into milchik Kalim, and the taste of the milk to enter into Flesha Kalim, this can then traif up one's dishes, traif up one's utensils, and in essence, invalidate them for continued use until they are kosher. How can this happen? How can one milchik's vessels become trafed up if they're being washed in a fleshic sink. Especially if you use cold water for washing or at least don't use Yatsai lettuce water. There's no way for the taste of meat to transfer into your milk vessels or vice versa. So what on earth can be the issue? So the issues that can come up are as follows. It's common to pour hot food into sinks such as the leftover hot water from boiling pasta. Have both meat and milk dishes inside the sink. And this is called irreclearition in which according to many paiskim, everything becomes trafe. Another issue presented even if one makes sure to never pour hot water into his sink when there are dishes inside is soaking for 24 hours otherwise known in Allah as kavosh kemavoshel. If meat and dairy utensils that are dirty remain soaked in water for 24 hours it is considered as if they were cooked together. So if you ever leave dishes for more than 24 hours in the sink you're entering into this problem. A third common issue that may occur is you may accidentally pour a fleshic food such as leftover hot soup onto the milchik dishes that are sitting in the sink that's used for both dishes. And thus, based on all these practical worries that one can have when sharing a sink for both meat and milk use, the widespread custom today of all jury is to have separate sinks for meat and milk and to initially buy or rent a home and apartment that contains two separate sinks for milchiks and fleshiks. And doing so escapes the headaches, escapes the halachic questions that can arise when you share the same, same sink. The chathila is proper that each sink contain its own faucet, its own drainage system, and be a certain distance from each other. However, all this is lechatchila and the way of mahadrin mina mahadrin, the way the custom of jury is today. Achshara Dari, that in today's generation we're able to be more careful in these matters. However, it is true that in previous generations people use the same sink for meat and milk. As in truth, doing so is permitted from the letter of the law if one is careful to avoid the issues that we mentioned. So writes the Igris Meisha in Achuvan Yeredea, volume 2, Achuva 42, who defends the old custom of using the same sink for washing meat and milk one after the other. And not to leave the milk and fleshic dishes inside the sink simultaneously together. And even so, when you wash it one after the other, you have to be careful of the following things. Number one is that you clean the sink from residue prior to placing the meat or dairy dishes into it. And that includes making sure there's no fat or oil that is still in on the sink surface, which can trafe up your vessel. If you pour hot water, as we said before, let it soak for 24 hours. Number two, you don't pour hot food into it, especially hot meat or hot dairy, unless there are no dishes in the sink. Number three, when you wash the dishes, you pour less than Yatsa lettuce water. You use less than Yatsa lettuce water from the faucet. And number four, you make sure that the vessels don't stay there for 24 hours. So again, to summarize from the letter of the law, it is permitted to use the same sink for meat and washing meat and milk dishes by alternating their usage, not having them sit together at the same time in the sink or wash them together at the same time in the sink. And even so, one has to be careful. Clean the sink very well in between usages to not pour hot food into the sink while the meat or milk dishes are in there to wash with less than Yatsa lettuce water and the dishes don't remain soaking in the sink for 24 hours. Nonetheless, although this is permitted from the letter of the law, practically this is not the advised solution. And in a case that one only owns one sink for whatever reason, then what is done today and what should be done is to purchase a sink insert. Many 
Hardware stores sell sink inserts that can also be ordered over the internet. In accordance to the measurement of your sink, you order a sink insert and you designate the sink insert for whatever types of dishes you use less often in the home. If you use Milchik's 